What if I told you you could actually hack your brain to help you finish more tracks faster? Hey, I'm Regan Ram with OrpheusAudioAcademy.com, helping you make better music and grow your fan base online. And in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you a bunch of tips and tricks to help you finish more of your tracks faster so you can publish more music and grow your fan base faster. So first off, why do you want to create music faster? Isn't that going to potentially hurt the quality of your music? Actually, this isn't the case at all because of, again, this mental hack that I'm gonna talk about a little bit later. It's not true that creating faster hurts the quality of your music. In fact, creating faster can actually improve the quality of your music. And this is because you're allowing the creative part of your mind to guide your work versus the analytical part of your mind. And when you're working on an art form, that is ideal. And so you're kind of tapping into your intuition or your gut instinct when you're creating at that faster pace. And if you wanna learn more about this and check out Malcolm Gladwell's book, Blink, it really kind of talks about how there are situations where your intuition or your gut instinct can actually produce a better result than spending lots of time analyzing. And I'm saying this as someone who has a very analytical mind and approach to things. So, uh, but there's definitely a place for both. And when you're in the creative phase, when you're songwriting, and you want to write more tracks faster, then you're going to want to focus on that creative part of your brain and, and leave aside the analytical part. And this leads to that mental hack I was talking about, and it is entering a state of mind that is called flow state. Flow state is the key to rapid high performance, and it's been described as a mental state of relaxed high performance. Now you've probably actually entered flow state before without even realizing it when you've been working on a track. In fact, some signs of being in flow state are that time passes rapidly and or you lose awareness of time. You completely forget about yourself and the outside world. Distracting thoughts don't enter your mind. You are completely focused. Great ideas come easily and you're having fun. You only take a break when the call of nature threatens to overtake you. So yeah, this is flow state. This is what's gonna power you up so that you get in the groove and you just kind of produce and without really thinking about it, everything kind of just falls by the wayside. And you're just so focused on your work and that's what's gonna help you finish more tracks faster. So flow state was actually discovered by a Hungarian American psychologist named Mihai Csikszentmihalyi. I believe I'm pronouncing that right. And he talks about when you're in flow state, your identity disappears from your consciousness. Existence is temporarily suspended. In fact, he discovered flow state through the process of observing different creatives actually. And in fact, he, he interviewed an anonymous, a famous American composer who said when he's in flow state that you are in an ecstatic state to such a point that you feel as though you almost don't exist. I have experienced this time and again. My hand seems devoid of myself and I have nothing to do with what is happening. I just sit there watching it in a state of awe and wonderment and the music just flows out of itself. So you, you probably experienced this before where the music just seems to write itself. Also being a novelist myself, uh, I've experienced flow state um, when writing a novel as well, where you just, the story just seems to kind of write itself. And that's when you make the most progress. It's also, not only are you making progress at a rapid rate, but it's also your best quality content. So you can create high quality music quickly. In fact, the faster you create, something actually the better quality it will be. Well, Cheek Send Me High identifies eight different characteristics of flow. And they are number one, complete concentration on the task. Number two, clarity of goals and reward in mind and immediate feedback. Number three, transformation of time, speeding up or slowing down. Number four, the experience is intrinsically rewarding. Number five, effortlessness and ease. Number six, there is a balance between challenge and skills. Number seven, actions and awareness are merged, losing self-conscious rumination. And number eight, there is a feeling of control over the task. So that's a lot of stuff, uh, a lot of words there. So how can we really boil this down and, and make it practical for our use 
in being music producers and trying to finish writing more tracks. Well, I think we can boil these eight characteristics down into really just two conditions that we need to meet in order to enter flow state. And that is number one, the task we're working on has to be challenging enough to keep your mind busy. Number two, also easy enough to avoid frustration. So challenging enough to keep you busy, but easy enough to avoid frustration. So uh, obviously the the process of writing a song on its own is going to be challenging enough on its own. In fact, it's going to be too challenging to the point of bordering on, you know, frustration. So for the rest of this video, I'm going to talk about how to meet that second condition. So that songwriting is easy enough for you that you can avoid frustration and therefore enter flow state. So in order to avoid these obstacles that are going to cause frustration and knock you out of flow state, you're going to want to have a songwriting system. I know we creatives don't always like the word system because we feel like that's limiting, but it's actually the opposite is true. When you have a framework to work within, that actually helps increase creativity. For example, if I just told you, hey, go make a song, you might be staring at a blank DAW screen for some time, but if I said, hey, go make an EDM song. Now you've got a little bit more framework to work with. You can, you kind of know where to start. I could go, if I, if I went even more specific, I talked about the exact BPM or the exact type of EDM, because obviously there's a lot of different styles, then that's going to actually free up your mind and your creativity even more because you've got some parameters to work within. So you're going to want to have a system when you're writing your songs. You can kind of think of your songwriting system as the Millennium Falcon, all right? Sure, you could get to space using a Saturn V rocket, but would you be able to make the Kessel Run in less than 12 parsecs? It's a ship that made the Kessel Run in less than 12 parsecs. Definitely not. All right, so what is this system? So step number one, you want to get started fast. In other words, you want to always be inspired. The author William Faulkner once said that, I only write when inspiration strikes. Fortunately, it strikes at nine every morning. So this is kind of the big difference between amateurs and professionals. Amateurs only create when they feel inspired and professionals will create according to a consistent schedule. The good thing is you can actually create inspiration. You can actually set up systems in place for yourself so that you can be inspired all the time. And so number one is to use a template, right? Use a songwriting template, have you know, don't just start with an empty DAW, right? So have a DAW setup that has kind of your go-to sounds or synthesizers um, that you're going to use when you write your song so that you have a framework to work within. Again, it's that same concept of giving yourself parameters so that you can get the creativity flowing. Now, the second thing you can do to stay inspired is to have a three to five song inspiration bin where maybe you have a playlist on Spotify where you have a few songs saved in there that are you're using currently as inspiration for the songs you're going to write going forward. And that's a really great place to start because you can say, hey, this is the type of music I want to make. And that's going to help give you ideas for what you can write so you can stay inspired. Now, you're also going to want to avoid anything that could potentially trip you up. So, for example, if you aren't very strong with music theory, then learn a few music theory hacks. For example, you could use a tool like autochords.com to quickly come up with chord progressions, or you could use MIDI packs, sample packs, slash copy slash borrow chord progressions from songs you like, because after all, chord progressions aren't can't be copyrighted. So, right? There's only so many chords out there. There's only so many chord progressions. So find something you like. Don't try to come up with something from scratch and go with that. Another good idea is to just keep a running list of ideas in some kind of document. And in there, you could include song concepts, titles, lyrics, melodies, sounds, and more. And it's another great thing to just keep like a favorites folder on your computer um, of your favorite presets or sounds or samples. So again, you can create a song quickly and then you can always swap out sounds later. You're also going to want to minimize distractions. So it's a good idea to turn off your phone or Wi-Fi, and also make the conscious effort not to tweak and not be, you know, working on really mixing elements while you're writing your song. Just make things good enough and move on. And it also, also can be a good idea to have a timer and so that you also kind of have that external factor incentivizing you to keep working and not get stuck tweaking. It's also a great idea to already have a kind of a song arrangement in mind. So maybe you have a list of different song arrangements you can quickly draw from. By the way, if you click in the description below, I have a free songwriting cheat sheet 
that will give you really quick a whole bunch of ideas for your song. So it, is, it includes all the different keys and the chords and notes that are in each key so you can get writing quickly if you don't know music theory. And it has a whole bunch of other cool things in it that will help you write songs faster and avoid getting stuck. So again, grab that free songwriting cheat sheet in the description below. Another tip, try writing from the bottom to the top, meaning start with the groove or the rhythm sections first, since those are kind of easier to come up with, and then save writing the melody for last, because by then you've probably gotten into flow state and your mind is working at optimal capacity, you know, so that way you're more likely to come up with that melody faster than if you tried to start at the beginning. Finally, don't try to be perfect. Don't worry about if what you're making actually sounds good or not. And instead, focus on progress over perfection. So just focus on writing more songs and you're naturally going to get better. All right, so don't worry about any individual song being better or worse than the previous song you worked on. But look at over your last 10 songs, right? Are you getting better over time? And likely you are, especially if... A good approach to take is just focus on improving one small specific thing with each new song that you write. And by being consistent and writing more songs, you're just going to get faster and faster until you start producing more tracks. And like I said, if you want help with coming up with ideas and other tips and tricks to help you write songs faster, then be sure to grab my songwriting cheat sheet in the description below. Otherwise, drop a like if you found this video helpful and feel free to subscribe if you want to be sure not to miss out on any new videos I release on this channel. Otherwise, let me know in the comments below what is the biggest songwriting tip you would give to an aspiring songwriter. All right, have a great day and I'll see you in a future video. Bye.